Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Dragon Force. We are here at Domestic Affairs, and we're gonna go ahead and do all the domestic-y type stuff. We're gonna search Tristan, it's the only thing we can search, cause... Where are the other people who can search? Battle Spear? Oh yeah, they're out of the castle cause we're going down to deal with those guys. Fabulous. Alright. Let's give people... Awards. Ramsel now has 30 soldiers. I need to recruit several more. Yeah. Alright, and you're gonna have 40 harpies. Yeah, like I said, that did kind of mess with my number of awards. You kind of want to be careful about that. Let's... Let's talk to people. We've got Maya, Rate, and Shadow. Let's see if any of them are gonna join us. Maya won't. Rate, will you join us? Nope. And Shadow. Hey, Shadow joined us. Perhaps I can try. Alright, so yeah. Now let's take a look at the map. We are controlling a little bit more because we've got that fourth castle now, which gives us a little tip of the peninsula there. Yeah. This is fun. Alright, let's go back to the world map, and let's cause some chaos. Alright, where is Shadow? Is he here? Yes, he is here. So I've got Narek and Shadow there. And now I've got all of this. Who in the hell are... oh. I say, who in the hell are you? Alright, this is going to be fun. This is just... Oh, holy crap, they kidnapped Rudger? Or they killed... They couldn't have killed Rudger. No, he's... Yeah, he's a, a starting general. I believe this used to be a castle. If we repair it, we can use it immediately. Let's give it a try. And we're gonna have the sound effects as we're gonna be attacked. There we go. That's that's just fabulous. And then next we're gonna go down and we're gonna get Bastion, because if he join if we beat him, he'll just join us. He may even just join us without having to fight. Alright, uh who do I want to use? Scar's still level uh I'm gonna start off with Scar and then I'm gonna use Junin because I need to level I need to make sure Junin levels up too. And again, I can just use any awards that I would normally use on Juno. I can save them. I typically do that for crests, because if you get a crest, it counts as an award, giving them access to ten troops that they don't have normally, or that they don't already have. Uh, as you, you saw, you can't use uh, an honor crest to give someone cavalry if they already have cavalry. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't add plus ten. That would be awesome if it just added plus ten, like a... Uh, normal battle award. But because it only gives you 10, uh, upgrading to something, say, like dragons for a troop, that's. you start off with 10, and then you have to fight with your current troop type that you've already worked up a huge number of in order to do something. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, that way I can, if I find a dragon crest, I can just give it to Junin, max Junin out with a uh, 100 dragons all at once and then not have to worry about that. That's that's my strategy. Why are you running away? Oh god, now I'm going to have to fight you again unless I capture you. No one likes you. Oh, captured him. Alright, we're going to deal with mages, except you don't have any, but you are a mage general. Mage generals, they they are the personification of mages being glass cannons. They have no defense, typically very little HP compared to some of the other general types, but they have some of the best special attacks and largest MP pools to pull from. Oh, fighting as fighting against a mage is going to be my my biggest pain later in this game. But once I get access to a couple of the higher-end mages, once I take over Trandor, 
Oh, it's gonna be so much fun dishing out that punishment. Oh, yes, that's that's a fair bit of damage. Because they have one ability, especially the magician type here, uh, called Holy Shield, where it, it just decimates troops that are in this position around your 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 general. It it's just it's devastating. That is one ability that I truly loathe in this game, when it's used against me. If I'm using it, I'm perfectly fine with it. <laughs> Alright, so we captured both of them, we don't have to deal with that. I don't have to worry about them coming back. I'm going to move one of my ninja generals that I just got, uh, in the castle up here, and they are going to stay in our new castle. So Shadow's going to come down and go down there. So yeah, Rudger, if a if a starting general is defeated in battle like that, they don't die. They they go into what's known as the infirmary in which they are just taken out of the game for X number of domestic affairs. And you are get you're kind of froggy. You're what are you doing? What what are you trying to accomplish here? All right. And unfortunately, I don't have enough to do everything that I want. So that's the only downside because this again is a level one castle. Look, it can only hold sixty troops. Toward the end game of this, that's not even going to be enough to to do anything. <laughs> Alright. So, 24 out of 40. I've used Scar and Junin. I'll use Gustav for him. That'll give them... That'll give him some experience, because I want to make sure people are getting experience, too, but I also need to get awards. But that's another thing. Even though I play the, I've played this game so damn much, I'm still learning stuff about it. I am still learning about this game. It's... It's unbelievable. And one thing that's that's amazing is... Another reason why I'm leaving this up, uh, and I'm playing the same Monarch as my last Let's Play, not just as a technical, you know, as a difference in where I started in terms of Let's Playing, versus where I am now in terms of Let's Playing uh, both a, a commentary and technical standpoint, but as a no matter how many times you play this game, you're never going to get the same result twice. Which, that just blows my mind. That's... I, I could play this game over and over and over again and not... not get anywhere close to the same result. Alright, so we've taken out his troops with Ramsel, and we did a little bit of damage. He's a monk class, which he has Aura Assault, which is pretty much the same as uh, Flame Cannon, but I think it's related to a different stat. And I love the the way the monk troop types attack. They have Chun-Li's uh, 100 kick attack. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Alright, so he's going to retreat for little to no reason. I, I have no idea why he's retreating. He just is. And we didn't capture him, which means we're going to have to deal with his sorry ass again. Not looking forward to that, but... Oh, and Shadow's army encountered him. Fabulous. Well, that's fine. Shadow can... Uh, I'll get another... Except... The sad thing is, my samurai have terrain effect minus 10, his monks have terrain effect minus 30, except he has no troops. <laughs> uh, this is why fighting outside kind of sucks. You're always, unless you are in one of the few terrains that your troops happen to have an advantage, and there are several, like there, I believe mountains, the harpies will have an advantage. Uh, if you're at a shrine, location, which there are three of in the game. Uh, monks have an advantage. They have a huge terrain advantage there. Zombies have a huge disadvantage at uh, at shrines. 
So, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of terrain effects that just can play into it, but more often than not, I find I have a disadvantage in a specific terrain type than an advantage. So... Actually, there's not any more where that came from, because you're out of MP, so... There is one ability in this game that I also love, that I wish were in other games. It's called Ensnare, and it uh, it causes your enemy general, their power gauge to not increase, and they can't retreat from battle. That I just love. I wish I had Ensnare, and he's gonna run away! He's actually a class that would have stayed in dueled if he had more HP but I think it's because he's critical that he's running away. Because Monk versus Ninja, yeah. And I captured him that time. Perfect. Now I don't have to mess with him again. Alright. Uh, enter the castle. Stop gloating and enter the castle. And recruit, and I'm still short. And... Where are you? Why are you going down there? I don't... I don't get this. Alright, so now I'm gonna just work my way east and go straight to Pale Moon. There's... there's no sense in... anything else, really. Alright, so... Uh, but first I'm going to... make a detour south here, and we're gonna go talk to Bastion and see if I can get Bastion to join me. That way I can use him to take over one castle. Uh, those other divisions sure have some sexy bro- yeah, he's just... That's what he does. Army, Bastion, direct. You're just gonna go there. And Army, Junin, direct. We're just going to go that way, and probably have to deal with Cher and her terrible, terrible music. Actually, I can't say terrible music. Cher has had some alright music. And we're going to recruit, and Bastion is never going to leave a castle ever, because he has the lowest loyalty out of anyone and everything. That Once you put him in a castle that he is going to be made in charge of, Never send him anywhere else. There's no point to it, because he will just as soon as leave you as... <sighs> oh! Fabulous! More Skull Children! Pain and Agony are your typical Skull Kids, so they're, they're just gonna kinda come down and piss me off is what they're gonna do. And Domestic Affairs this early? Ah, damn. Oh, hey! Storyboard! That's fine. There's a strange woman at the castle gate. She has traveled far. What is... Okay, so I don't need to go to Pale Moon. This is... This is... Uh, okay. I took too long. That's Terrace of the Pale Moon Kingdom. She is the current ruler. She will join us instantly. If I had made it to her castle, she would have just joined us instantly. But since I took too long getting there, I guess, or I cleared off too many castles, leaving her with only her capital, uh, she is one of the few generals that will just instantly join you, regardless of what nation you play. If you're playing as Tristan, or uh, Highland, or I even think Bozak, she will just join instantly for several of these nations. So, but now we find out that she has the Crest of the Star Dragon, so surprise, surprise, she's one of the Dragon Force. If you guys couldn't see it coming, that she, that the eight monarchs are the eight members of the Dragon Force, I, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. If you, if you can't piece that together, I'm, I'm terribly ashamed, but, yeah. Would you give us your aid and cooperation? Yes. The Moon Palace and armies of Pale Moon are behind you. Alright, so now we... We have access to Terrace as a general, and then all of her generals are now on our side. So I can start 
moving people around a little bit better. Alright, Scar gets an, an award, Ramsel gets an award, Shadow gets an award, and you get a car, and you get a car. Why have I gone up to three losses? The hell? I... I don't know. Um... I, it's, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. That way I've, I've got... I'm, I'm keeping with the same trend. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next installment, where I will pick up from here at the Domestic Affairs, now that I've got a ton of new stuff. We're just gonna look at that, and then continue taking over the world. Till then, later everyone.